Vista Point Displays, Caltrans District 5. This project placed interpretive features at seven Vista Points in four counties, Santa Cruz, Monterey, St. Louis Obispo, and Santa Barbara. It included 40 steel-framed porcelain enamel displays set on natural boulders or stone veneered walls, a picnic table inlaid with historical place settings, four granite mosaics of life-sized animals, audio posts, and viewing scopes. The project coordinated aesthetic design and sensitive site placement in an attractive manner to enhance visitor experience without compromising the scenic qualities inherent in the Vista Point locations. This project fosters appreciation and stewardship of unique coastal resources, local history, and culture. McHenry Avenue River Road Temporary Bypass, San Joaquin County Department of Public Works, City of Escalon. This project was conceived out of necessity. The McHenry Avenue and River Road intersection was always stop controlled and experienced extreme delays 20 minute during commute hours. Construction of the new bridge and traffic signal was delayed one year. Public Works proposed a temporary roundabout and worked with the city of Escalon to conduct public outreach. The community agreed on a trial basis. The roundabout, referred to as the Beanabout due to its shape, was designed and constructed at minimal cost. It was constructed with only a single day road closure. Response from motorists has been overwhelmingly positive. San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge East Span Seismic Safety Pier E3 Demonstration Project. Caltrans District 4, Kiewit Manson, a joint venture, AECOM, Illingworth and Rodkin, Garcia and Associates. As part of the San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge East Span Seismic Safety Project, Caltrans is in the process of dismantling the original East Span of the bridge. The department conducted a demonstration project to remove Pier E3 via controlled implosion, an alternative to the originally permitted mechanical methods, because it was expected to result in fewer in-water workdays, reduce impact on environmental resources of the bay, and require a shorter time to complete. This unique project showed that highly controlled explosives can present a least environmental damaging alternative to future demolition projects.